two-minute warning. They say that a quarterback's best friend is his offensive line. But that's not exactly true. A quarterback's best friend is his left tackle. That player that protects his blind side. And for a quarterback like Eli Manning, that player that gives him the opportunity to stand back in the pocket and get the ball to players like Odell Beckham Jr., Sterling Shepard, and Paul Perkins with confidence. Whether we want to admit it or not, Giants fans, Eli Manning is in the twilight of his career, and that Super Bowl window is closing. Jerry Reese and company haven't exactly had the best track record in drafting offensive linemen. Justin Pugh is a great guard, but simply cannot play the tackle position where he was drafted to play. And Eric Flowers, no matter how much we try, lacks the speed and agility required to play left tackle and is better suited with the strength and attitude and mauling ability to block on the right side. And so we have a conundrum on our hands. Do we invest a third premier pick in a young left tackle or pay a player like Andrew Whitworth, a player who's made three Pro Bowls and has one All-Pro selection in his career, a player that's missed two games in the past eight seasons, the amount of money that it's going to be required to sign him. Yes, he's 35. Yes, that's old by NFL standards. And yes, it's going to take a lot to bring him in from a financial standpoint. But Eli's 35 too. That's the same age. Bring Whitlock in. Show Eli that you care about him and that you're invested in making his final years here in New York of the highest quality. Give him what he needs to succeed and allow Whitlock and Eli to ride off into the sunset together with one or maybe even two more Super Bowl rings. Go Giants!